So this is a video on painting the foreground, the bushes. So this is this is where we're going to be. We want to try and mix uh, some colours for this. Now you can see there's a, a dark shadow and then the green. And I fell for the same mistake that you may likely make as well. I really underestimated the tonal value of this whole area. Obviously these shadows are the darkest things on the picture. So I, in my judgment, there's nothing darker in the picture than these areas here. And these greens, I mean, how dark are, are they? How light are they? They're fully lit green vegetation. <coughs> but when you compare them, for instance, against the sand, so from there to, to there, you can see the sand is very, very white. So I'll just lift this up a little bit. And you've got the image there as well. That sand against that vegetation, if you squint your eyes and it sort of takes the, the colour out of it, I find when I squint. But you can see this is a lot darker than that white sand, a lot. In much the same way that this ridge, when you squint your eyes, is a lot darker than that light coloured sand. And it's a lot darker than the sky. So tonally, um, <clears throat> the mistake I made when I had a go at, at painting this was I mixed this green way too light. And I was using, I was thinking, okay, bit of burnt amber, bit of lamp black and some of this yellow green because it's sort of a, a yellowy looking green and, you know, it looks about right. But I was way off. So... If we, um, let me just see where we are. We're in, um, I'm in my photos. So if we go to the black and white image, you can see, you can appreciate uh, once it's, it's reduced or rendered in a, on a grayscale, that this area is very dark, very dark compared to the, to the sand. Um, as dark as the ridge, probably. So we're going to need plenty of burnt umber and lamp black, but we're actually going to use this thalo green because that's such a, a dark colour. And we'll put a little bit of yellow green in it to just lighten it up, yellow it a little, but the real power is going to come out of these dark tonal colours. Okay. So... Um, Let's have a look at, um, at what I did and how I mixed these colours. So I've got a little bit of liquid. As per usual, I just sort of grab a little bit. Not, I don't scoop it, I just grab a little. Some people seem to be having problems using too much liquid. So you can see what I've done here. It's, it's not like I've scooped it out. I've just sort of dipped the brush and grabbed a bit. So I'll grab a little bit of um, burnt umber. and a little bit of lamp black. Just to reiterate, I go in low and sideways on this. The lamp black has a tendency to go off towards purple when you start to add white to it. So the brown sort of keeps it in that right, in that right tone or right hue, I should say. Okay, so we've got um, something that's quite a dark color and it's just a little bit kind of sticky so i'm freeing it up you can see how nicely it's moving now on my but i haven't got liquid floating around in here so i'll grab a little bit of phthalo green which as we know is a dynamite color i don't know what i was doing i was going to mix the uh the dark shadow so look i i think i'll stick with that um, just throw a little bit more of that in and a little bit more of that in. Forget I put any green in. And say that I've got a colour which is quite close to um, the shadow colour that I want. Now I've had the benefit of putting a few layers here. And I'll just, um, I'll just get my iPad up 
and going so that we can um, we've got access to the reference material so I check this is my my correct photo with the the lightness out here and the dark blue out there good um, and I'm painting these sort of areas in here so I've got quite a nice dark color uh, the big advantage of this is that it will be possible to layer on you know more and more here so I'll try and choose maybe a part where I haven't um, done so much um, I haven't put a, a shade in that one so it's not quite as dark as the other area but I'll just put a little bit in there there's a little bit of a shade here this is probably going to be a bit strong but we're in a block in phase so that's what I tell myself just blocking in, just try and get the tonal sort of story correct. So I'm just just sort of um, dropping in those dark shadows. And I haven't really put the greens in there, but um, when I do that, I can sort of feather these edges a bit. So I haven't got a nice, um, I haven't got a real hard edge in this vegetation which is not really required at this point so that will that will come a little bit later i'm putting on my second layer of black here but but basically um what i'd suggest you do is just choose a bush like this one here so it goes around and i think i would have traced that out for you so it's got green on the top and a dark color here so that's what i'll do i'll, I'll paint in my my dark color And similarly here, I, I don't know why I did this. I had this coming over like that, but in the picture it sort of goes up like that. So, you know, sometimes we uh, get off on a, on a thought bubble and we just go with it and don't really look at what the uh, photograph is telling us. So I'll just tone that back a little bit. And I'll just try and um, soften that line there into the green uh, and similarly here uh, just try and soften things in a little bit so that dark comes to about there um, there's a little bit of dark here so you'd be just working with your first coat but yeah I suggest you sort of pick a bush and go okay um, dark goes from here up to here so paint that in and then uh, put the green in it's pretty hard to mess up the dark colour because it's um, so sort of, you know, one dimensional. So I'm going to, I'm just painting in this little bit here. Um, so I'll drop that down. I've got quite a sharp line against that green bush. So I'll just respect that and um, block in like that. And as I read it, there's like a, a line that goes along here and then, then down. This is one bush here. So I'm going to... So what have I got here? I've got this, this bush here, which is sort of very, very finely like that. And then it goes a little bit more and then drops down. So I'm just getting the broad sort of outlines at this point. And then there's a few horizontal shadows coming out of this. So um, I'll just sort of create them with horizontal brush strokes just to give that impression that they're shadows on a, on a, on a sandy base. Okay, we've got that there. A little bit there. Look, I've I did include this wood in the picture, and I'm thinking that it's too hard. We might just sort of put um, bushy type subject matter in there. So I just feather that a little bit. 
further that, just a little bit of a brush, just so I don't have any hard edges. Um, I've got some marks here. So you can see I'm using my brush on its side just to get uh, more of an edge to it. Um, there's nowhere near as hard an edge as that, but um, it'll, it'll be fine. All right. Um, not, I'm not afraid to get my fingers dirty, moving the paint around. Look, we'll leave that for the moment. So you, you're good on mixing that dark color. And then what I'll do is I'll use that as a base and this sort of ties the painting together. So I'll use that as a base for my, um, my green. So my green is going to be uh, phthalo green, which is sort of too bluey, but it's 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 quite a nice um, dark green. The yellow green isn't any good for that. I'm going for titanium white, which is on my top one. Oh, I've got way too light. Oh no, I fell for that old trick. Way too light. Um, Let me have a bit of a think about this. I'll throw some um, some more phthalo green at this and just green it up a little bit. And also some of that, um, what's it called? Um, yellow green, just to get more towards um, these yellowy colors in here. Uh, I'm not really happy with that. I'm gonna try some phthalo, uh, some Cadmium yellow. My, my paint's getting really sticky, hard to move now, so I just go back and grab a bit of liquid and that's um, it's all good again. So I come in low on that cadmium. I don't seem to have got any. Might have dried a little bit. Okay, so that's that's come up with a little bit more of a yellowy hue. That's sort of a quicker way of getting that yellow hue in. What do I think? Look, um, I'm blocking in. As I say to myself, Ray, you're blocking in, mate. Just stop trying to finesse it. Um, so I, I'm just going to kind of block in this, this area here. I mean, I could do big stripey sort of brush moves, but it is, you know, unlike the ocean, unlike the sky, and unlike the ridge, it's... Um, it's quite textural, so I'm just going to kind of mix it up a bit. It might be a little bit dark, but, you know, broadly, my tonal range, you know, it's broadly in the ballpark. Now, this comes down here a little bit into that, down and into that area, so um, it's almost like it sort of joins up there a little bit, so I can join that up a bit and bring this down. It's pretty, you know, it could be a little bit lighter, so why not? Um, I remember the problem I had last time with putting too much titanium white in. And it's gone a little bit kind of sticky, pasty. So I've added just a little bit more of that. Look, I'm, I'm not unhappy with this. Um, so I'm just sort of just making my brush strokes a little bit random. Um, I'm trying to keep a nice crisp edge on this bush. You can see how it's a nice sort of sharp edge against the background. So doing that, blocking this in. Um, I'm bringing this down here. Um, there's that little area there. Look, it could be a little bit dark, but we'll see tomorrow when it dries, see what see what we get and it's it'll be super easy just to lay things over the top so I've got the real benefit here of already having a coat down and you'll be if you're doing this from scratch um, it'll be a little bit harder to um, get good coverage first time so I'm just I'm just going to break up this line a bit it's um, it's very suggestive it's not um, a very strong line 
a little bit more green here, a little bit more green there and over here. And look, that gives you, that's probably enough. That's enough of your block in to give you some ideas on that. So key, key issues are tonally, it's dark. So you need to throw the kitchen sink at it, burnt umber, lamp black, phthalo green, and then maybe lighten it up and yellow, and then lighten it up and yellow it with, you can use the cadmium yellow deep, or you can use the yellow green. Um, so anyway, that's, um, that's how I would paint that, that particular section of the painting.